I do need a lint roller. I have a lot of lint. Very upset by my lint. Here we go. Oh. Here we go. Stuck in their seats, our judges can start to feel cooped up and left out, so we let them cook in the chop kitchen after hours. back there. We're just having a cup of tea. <laughs> so, Amanda, Mark, Alex, what is it that makes this fun for you to turn the tables and cook the basket? Whoa, back it up. Yeah. Whoever said this was fun. <laughs> I know. Well, we have a good basket for you here. This is from the appetizer round for a competition we did with actors who play sitcom moms on television. So you may want to channel your inner June Cleaver mm. as you try to figure out what to do with portobello mushrooms, sour cream, spinach, and a TV dinner. This basket totally leaves me stumped because this is like a basket unto itself, Teddy. What is it? Is it's it turkey? turkey and peas and mashed potatoes. This is still hard as a... Yeah, you're leaving out the most important part. This is frozen. All right, folks, 20 minutes is all you get. Clock starts now. Oh, whoa, wait! <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> He's like an ox. You know, you're a big guy. Okay, I'm collecting. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. What are you making, Amanda? Okay, I'm gonna make what I am gonna call deconstructed mushroom spanakopita. Okay, that's a spinach pie. That's a spinach pie, essentially. So in 20 minutes, you're gonna brush melted butter onto individual sheets of phyllo and fold them around a filling and bake it. Uh, no, that's where the word deconstructed comes oh, in. Oh, deconstructed. Yes, I'm just gonna put it on the top. Really? Yes. That's nuts! <laughs> Who are you? What's Who happened? Who are you? Where, are we on the set of Chop? I don't know. Where are we? Excuse me, sir. Can yeah. you stir that? Oh, yeah, okay. You heard there's only 20 minutes on this round. You gotta move it along. Wow, cooking is fun. Cooking is fun, Ted. Mm, Chef Murphy, what make us thou? I'm gonna make a uh, an herb soup with uh, spinach and peas. Now this is fussy. You peel the mushroom cap. Why would you do that? Um, well, I just I want to keep these nice and clean. The mushrooms are gonna be diced up and they're gonna be sitting in the bottom of the bowl of the soup with a little bit of goat cheese. You're not gonna use that freezer burned turkey? Nope. You think anybody's gonna use the turkey? Alex, are you using the turkey? No. Nope. Alex, you're going old school. Yeah, I'm gonna make some stuffed mushrooms. So I've got some white button mushrooms. I'm sweating some shallots. Getting a little sauce from the gravy from the TV dinner. Beautiful. And if I have time, a little pine nut spinach and pea pesto. Piece of cake. I'm crushing it. Isn't it irritating what she can do in 20 minutes? I mean, really? It didn't even, it didn't, it didn't even break down. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, Lord, what's this? Here you go, Alex. Here's your lunch. It's from Mom. She wanted to make sure you guys all ate healthy. And Amanda, here's your Oh, what did I get? I got an apple. Thanks, Mom. I was hungry. Less than 10 minutes, chefs. Huh. I don't have time, Mom. I'll eat later, I promise. I love the color of what you're developing there, Amanda. <laughs> Isn't that, that gorgeous? This is really beautiful. Get I thought you would this. like that. I'm gonna paint up my living room this color. It's called portobello mushroom gray. Look at you go with that phyllo. You know what? This is gonna work, and I'm excited about it because I always want contestants to use this stuff because it's beautiful. Hey, get your spinach off my phyllo. She's so particular. All right, chefs, five minutes left on the clock. Mark, what are you doing? Well, I've got some, some, what do you call this, goat cheese? Goat cheese. You're gonna use that to thicken your soup. No, I'm gonna put this in the bowl, I think. That's cool, that's good enough. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Alex, these people are driving me crazy. What are you up to? I am making these mushroom stuffing. I've got some pine nuts that I've toasted in here. Teddy, thyme shallots, pickle juice, champagne vinegar, portobello mushrooms, and sour cream. Beautiful. With the mashed potatoes and the gravy from the TV dinner. This just 
looks and smells like something that would happen in, you know, 1968. Yeah, but maybe like 2018 too, Ted. Right on. Coming right. back around. All right, chefs, you're down to your last minute. I'm gonna finish, but it's gonna be a photo finish for sure. Okay, I'm gonna back up, because Murphy's got hot soup in a blender, which we tell the contestants to never do. Go get your plates. It's got a little brown. That's okay, I think they look beautiful. All right, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time's up. Please step back. Let's eat. Look at that. Is this just for me? Is that all mine? You guys had to work with portobello mushrooms, sour cream, spinach, and a TV dinner. All right, Alex, what did you make? I made stuffed mushroom caps with breadcrumbs, pink peppercorns, arugula, and I made a pesto of spinach and peas. Can we get in this thing? I don't think there's anything Thank wrong you. with stuffed mushrooms. I think they're so Ooh. out of fashion that they're back in fashion. Is there wine in there? Ooh. There's champagne vinegar. Mm. Ooh, yum. But it's sweet. And you don't feel any sour cream here at all, but you, but you taste richness. The nice thing about this, Alex, is that I am not reading TV dinner here. I mean, I know the ingredients are in there and you use quite a bit of them, but I'm not tasting TV dinner, which I'm very happy about. Nope. This is the thing that sometimes I think the chefs who compete here are afraid to do. Just go right at it. Look at it, there's a mushroom, stuff it. And that is so good. I mean, who, if we were sitting there eating that, who would not love that? Okay, Chef Mark, what do we have? Well, I made a spinach and a pea soup. And then I cooked the mushrooms with a little of cognac. Wow. I thickened it up also with the uh, with the sour cream. So it's a hearty soup. It's a hearty soup. Wow. I want to get in there. She get wants in. to get in there. I love the presentation. Can we talk about the mushrooms a little bit? Because you really, to me, you transformed them. They almost feel like a turnip or a potato. I just, I cooked them with olive oil and uh, salt and pepper and then deglazed with the cognac. Mushrooms absorb oh, a lot of flavor, which I love. You get, get it. There. Yeah, you really get it. You kind of breathe the cognac yeah. at the end. I like that. It's really finessed with that finish of cognac. Oh, thank you. Amanda, look at that. What do you got? I, you know, I too was inspired by retro dishes, and I came up with a mushroom spinach spanikopita. So there's feta cheese, there's spinach, there's mushroom shallot. And then phyllo I wanted to use because nobody ever really uses it. Especially nobody ever uses phyllo in the appetizer round, which right. I thought was bold. Ready? On three. One, two. Oh. Yes. Oh, Mark. yes. Nice. You got to do it with authority, Mark. It's all about that mm -hmm. sauce on the bottom, right? I wanted you to taste the mushroom. I wanted you to be able to taste it. There's peas in that filling as well. So good. I hope you guys liked it. I mean, I was delicious. I was kind of baffled by that basket it's because really there were so many ingredients. Well, if this is what you produce when you're baffled, really good. Picture perfect appetizer, so tasty, y'all never cease to amaze. Thank you. Thank you, Ted. <clears throat> it's our pleasure. You know where to find more After Hours Judges Rounds, right? Go to foodnetwork.com slash chopped.